Alright guys, I'm gonna be doing the insulation now and the floor. For the walls I'm going with the uh, earth wool. In some places 5 cm and in some 10. And of course before that I'm going with the vibro filter. I was thinking not even putting vibro filter to be honest. I, it's just not that really necessary but you know just to be safe I'll put it on the wheel archers for example it is a must but on the walls I don't know. I'll put it but it's not necessary. I'm going with foam underlayment 10 mil millimeters uh, because I don't have a lot of room. It's I think it's 184 centimeters or something like that from the, the roof to the floor from the ceiling actually to the floor and I'm 180 centimeters so that's not a lot of space to work with so I'm going with this stuff it would be awesome to have thick foam blocks inside but there's just no room for it So I had to do it in three pieces because they sold it to me like that and while they were cutting they did a shitty job and look at this, now I have a fucking hole.
Right, it's time for the absolutely worst part of this build, the electrics. I have no idea what I'm doing. Thankfully my friend Bora, the, the previous owner of this van, knows this stuff. He explained it to me but I was just nodding my head and saying yes, yes, I understand. I have no idea what's going on. I'm already lost, I didn't even start. So after at least 30 to 40 seconds of intense studying of this masterpiece, I came to the conclusion that now I understand it, I think. So I'm gonna start cutting up this bunch of cables and I hope I don't fuck up. Well, that was easy. So the battery is gonna go there, somewhere around there. The mains hole is gonna go here. The inverter is going right around there. And the fuses are going up there. And then from the fuses, we have one light, the other light. going there in the middle of the van and the third light is in the shower it's going right there, there around the entrance and back these ones are for the
panels. There's probably the hole's gonna be here or somewhere around here. Maybe even in the middle, I'll see. I'm not sure I have a, a lot of room with the length. And then we got the take boy right here for the mains. The mains entrance is gonna be probably there. I'm still thinking about it. What else? Hmm. I left this cable here for the van or something, fan, sorry, or the USB ports, I'll see, and that's it. So it's time for the installation, I started already and it's going perfectly, just has a, a, enough room here to just hold itself, it's perfect. So far so good. I'll leave the window for now like as it is because I'm probably gonna do a frame what the hell is going with the camera a frame all around with wood so I'll leave it for now like this. This shit freehand, let's go.
And this was a dumb mistake that I did. I cut out the OSB board before placing the sound deadening foam. So now, of course, with added material, it doesn't fit. So I had to take it out again and make it fit. I swear to god, I lifted those boards up like 800 times. So once more won't be a problem. So because of the van's dimensions I had to go uh, in three rows and I decided to go with the small parts right there because the bed is gonna be there so this is the least important part of the floor. And I'm thinking about making like a dra giant drawer above these two pieces so it's not gonna be any problem. And that's it. I kinda did this pretty fast. Uh, didn't expect it to be that fast, but it was fun actually. So it went smoothly. Uh, now comes the tricky part where I gotta cover all the walls and the uh, ceiling with MDF boards. That's gonna be a problem. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I just gotta tweak it a little more to make it leveled and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time.